If you're a student, make sure you send this video to your parents because millions of students across the world are wasting their time and money learning things that are completely outdated. Unemployment is at an all-time high. Unemployment rate, unemployment rate, unemployment rate, unemployment rate rising again. Thousands of people have lost their jobs. Youth unemployment in urban India is nearly 18%. It says a large number of Indian youth are out of work. Parents are either too busy to know what's happening in the real world or they're simply freaking out because of AI, doing the absolute worst things for their child's career. There is a website called Pessimists Archive that has real newspaper clippings about technophobia and all the moral panic that history has seen again and again with new technologies, ideas and trends. Can you guess what people were terrified of in the 1920s? Moral degradation from the radio. In the 1950s, they thought comic books were going to turn kids into criminals. In the 90s, they thought the internet was going to rot their child's brains and destroy their social skills. Now we all know that they are coming from the right place. And I also know that they are willing to hear a better roadmap. So we have created a list of important pointers for any young person or even a parent who's about to plan their child's life in the age of AI. In fact, let's just make sure that you've enabled utmost privacy on your chat GPTs and Geminis and Perplexity accounts so that your child's conversations are not being used by AI to train itself. For example, in ChatGPT, you just need to go to your account, then settings, and then data controls, and just make sure that the improve the model for everyone is turned off. I'll link additional video tutorials in the description of this video that will show you all the privacy settings for top AI applications. All of these things are very, very important because as we always say that jobs are not going away, they're getting redefined. And instead of worrying about unemployment, you need to worry about being unemployable. In fact, we've We've also partnered with an app that any parent or working professional can use to free their time from their day-to-day -day work and it is called Odoo. Odoo is an all-in-one business management software built to simplify the day-to-day -day of running a business. Whether you're an agency owner, a startup founder or even a solo freelancer, with the Odoo project app, you can get a clear overview of everything that's happening in your projects. You can set up projects, add custom stages, create tasks and even break them down into subtasks for complex work. Work. Each task can have descriptions with tables, images, videos, and checklists. And the built-in chatter lets you send emails, tag team members, attach files, or schedule activities like calls, to-dos, and meetings all in one place. And depending on how you like to work, Odoo gives you different views. The Kanban view, where you can drag and drop tasks like sticky notes, it keeps your pipeline organized at a glance. And you always know which stage each task is in. The Gantt view, which is a full timeline that shows dependencies and deadlines. Lines. It's perfect when you need a bird's eye view of your project, adjust schedules or see who is working on what. The list view, which makes batch actions and bulk edits super simple. But Odoo is not just about projects. It's a full suite of more than 45 business apps for invoicing, accounting, inventory, websites, e-commerce and so much more. And the best part is that you can get your first app for free for life with unlimited hosting and support. And if you want the full stack, you can unlock everything starting at just 580 rupees per user per month. So if you're ready to streamline your business and free up more time to focus on growth, check out Odoo today. The link is right there in description. Now, let's get back to the video. Lesson number one is all about applying the protégé effect. We have always heard that if you're learning something that is great, but when you teach someone something, that is the best way to understand how your subject truly works. While most people are using AI to outsource all of their research, the real skill here is to help yourself learn from AI and then practice teaching the same subject to other people. Introduce your child to a tool like Notebook LM because your child can take multiple PDFs and convert those PDFs into mind maps, into books, into podcasts, all for free. And let me tell you something, while most people are freaking about their children using AI for their examinations and for their assignments, IIIT Delhi has actually introduced a new rule. They now expect students to not only upload their final assignments but also upload the prompt that they have used to crack that assignment. Because while most people and teachers think that by holding their students back from AI, they're doing them a favor, they're actually doing the quite opposite. You need to explain your child how to use the human in loop workflow, where the child has to first think about the problem, then the child has to prompt the AI tool, which is all about setting the right context. And then in the end, the child has to validate those results and then build on top of it. You need to help your child build the habit of using an AI tool for the first draft and then 
using his or her own human brain to create the final draft. Lesson number two is the importance of reading, writing, and documentation. Introduce your child to a tool like Notion. Now, Notion is this note taking application that has built in AI inside of it. But the best part is that you can write down all of your thoughts and help your child document his or her thoughts from today. I have been writing my own thoughts on Notion for the past five years, and it has significantly helped me think better, reflect more, and create systems out of my thoughts. And now with Notion agents inside of it, you can essentially help your child create his or her second brain. And I'll put a very detailed tutorial on Notion in the description of this video. Now we come to lesson number three. MIT professor Sherry Turkle found that kids actually feel that AI cares about them as if it's a best friend that they have in their house and you need to break this myth. Kids can't really separate alive human beings or alive things from machines and if they practice rudeness or certain kind of tonality with AI on a regular basis, it might actually seep into how they treat people in the real world. In fact, there have been multiple instances where children and young teenagers have actually fallen in love with AI because they were not able to distinguish that behind this screen, it is is not a human being talking to them, it's actually an AI tool talking to them. So you need to make sure that even though your child is getting exposed to all of these realistic LLM models that can speak and video call, the child has utmost clarity to not blindly believe what this AI is telling to them. Lesson number four is making your child learn the billboard test, which says that if you would not put this text on a big billboard with your photo in front of everyone, don't type it into a chatbot. At this point, people think that whatever they're writing into an AI tool is always going to be secured and it's not going to be shared to other people. That will happen if you're on the pro plans or if you've switched off the toggle. But majority of the students that I meet are having daily conversations with AI chatbots without actually enabling the right privacy security settings. In fact, deep fake scams and AI scams in general are at an all time high because AI can clone voices with just seconds of audio. These scamsters can either call you or they can find your audio from the internet. And fraudsters and criminals are using AI to scam parents and what they do is that they would call parents using their kids clone voice and they would act as if they have kidnapped the child or they have created a fake arrest scenario. In fact, in 2023, an old man in India fell into a deep fake scam after receiving a call from someone impersonating his former colleague who was asking for money. And this was the first reported case of a proper deep fake scam in India. In fact, we're seeing a lot of these scams coming in. So as a parent, you need to have certain guardrails in the family. Now, the easiest way to secure yourself and your children is to have some smart precautions. The first one is the family password. You need to pick something very, very random that you will never be able to guess normally. Now, this can be a password like purple flamingo or a purple orange. And you need to tell your child specifically, if you get a call from me, make sure that you ask me the password. And if you're not able to find that caller, repeat the password, know that it's a fake call. Lesson number five is helping your child practice AI augmentation and not just automation. Think about this. If multiple students are using the same ChatGPT or Gemini and blindly using it for their work, after a span of six to seven months, their work will start to resemble each other. Their resumes will start looking identical. Because if everybody is using the same tool, it's almost like everybody has hired the same brain. Everybody will get the same output and nothing will help you stand out. When fat and sugar became very accessible, we had physical obesity crisis. And if your child over depends on AI, he or she might end up with intellectual obesity. So you need to prepare yourself and your child on how they can stay ahead of others by using the human in loop workflow. In fact, even in the professional world, this is being implemented very, very properly. Doctors are using AI for diagnosis, but using their real intelligence to make the final call. Lawyers are using AI for research, but then applying their human judgment to take the final decision. By 2027, degrees will matter less than ever. And the future will belong to those who have good health, great taste, strong pattern finding skills, and the vocabulary to describe those patterns. In fact, a lot of new age startups are removing degree requirements and only checking for the skills that your child will have. A common student can become a developer because AI is making it easier than ever to build a new product. 
In the 1800s, textile workers smashed weaving machines because they thought that their entire career was over. But as we can all see, they were wrong. The machines didn't really stop their work. It just changed their responsibilities from just weaving to actually designing. Every generation that has ever come so far had to adapt because we work for evolution, evolution does not work for us. For example, the calculator lets us tackle way more complex problems. The internet today helps us connect to the entire world. But when when these tech stacks were introduced in our society, everybody was panicking. People with good taste, high amounts of empathy and the ability to ask better questions will be in the top tier of the most valuable category of human beings. Unfortunately, a lot of parents are thinking that if they invest in a very big certification, if they invest in a very big degree, their child would just instantly become relevant. The truth is that all of these subjects are only one or two months old. Then how can you expect a degree to be even up to date with all of these new changes? The only thing that you and your child needs to learn is how to learn difficult things. And I keep talking about my JE and engineering journey. I had studied for the JE examination and today I actually do not remember anything that I had learned as a part of my JE prep. But in that process of JE preparation, in the process of becoming an engineer, I became a person which knew how to learn difficult things. Today, if I see a difficult topic, I am no longer intimidated by it because I've learned difficult things before at a rapidly fast speed. People think that if they're studying a very complicated scientific subject or if they're solving a very difficult math problem, it's a waste of their time because any kid will say that, mom, why are you making me learn about this science and why are you making me remember all of these things when none of this is useful in the real world? Agreed. I'll tell you what is useful. The ability to handle pressure, the ability to do something that you do not like, the ability to take a complicated problem, open up a separate book and figure out how you can reverse engineer the solution to actually get those things done. Those personality traits can't be engineered quickly. They are built over time, they are compounded over time. So while most people focus on marks, while most people focus on degrees, let me tell you right now that the process of getting good marks that shapes your child's personality is way more valuable than the marks themselves. The degree that you're chasing right now is not that valuable, but the entire social engineering, the entire politics that you learn while you're completing the degree is going to help help your child grow faster than ever. I hope that all of these small small pointers were able to help you as a parent or even as a young student reprioritize and re-pivot the way you are entering 2026. I get a lot of questions from parents for their children. I've never made a video for parents before this so I thought that this would be the first time we can address parents but I'm pretty sure if you're a college student, if you're a young professional, it would have helped you also put things into perspective. Let me know in the comment section if you think there are any more messages or more lines of communications or more lines of thoughts that you wish parents had and we can actually make a video deep diving into each of those concepts. Do make sure that you click on the like button, click on the subscribe button right now and check out Odoo because it is an incredible platform for any young professional trying to improve their overall productivity. I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your instructor Anshmehra and you are learning from the Cutting Edge School.